how the clock works. To power a clock, you need uh, a source of power. Usually, this happens with uh, gravity. Uh, on I grand clocks, you see weights going down slowly, slowly, powering the clock with uh, just simple gravity. In this clock design, the power comes from the wound up um, metal spring that is encased in this housing here. The ratchet prevents, when you wind up, the ratchet prevents that the, the power gets lost immediately. That stops the uh, spring from uh, expanding instantly, locking the shaft. Then this gear here transfers the power to the clock reverse through the entire gear train. The next item of a clock is that keeps the clock timing. A pendulum is the actual timer and the pendulum controls the escapement. The escapement rocks back and forth uh, given by the time constant that the pendulum develops from a formula of gravity, length of the pendulum, and the degree of the swing. The escapement then controls the escape wheel, which is part of any clock. Uh, the escape wheel in this design uh, rotates once every 30 seconds. Now, so you can see numbers here. They turn around so once this wheel turns around once, 30 seconds have elapsed. Now, 30 seconds could be actually displayed, so you would have a hand on the clock face that turns around every 30 seconds. But that's not how we as human beings uh, like to view our time. At least we want to see an interval of 12 hours, and within the 12 hours, we want to see an interval of 60 minutes. So we have a minute hand and an hour hand. The way this is controlled is by a series of, uh, of uh, gears and gear component uh, composites that reduce the 30 second turn into three uh, three thousand six hundred seconds by this gear which is attached where the minute hand is attached to this gear then the three thousand six hundred seconds that's uh, three thousand six hundred seconds per hour that means when this gear turns around once we have the minute hand go around one hour, counting 60 seconds. From there, we divide by 12. That is done by four gears. Uh, the four gears are, one is actually obstructed here, there is a there's a gear back here. This gear. This gear. Not this gear. And this gear. They actually divide the hour. The full sixty minute hour movement. By twelve, and that gives twelve hours. So this has to turn 12 times for the 
our hand to move once, uh, to move once around. So twelve full twenty five uh, twelve hours. Now each individual gear composite uh, subdivides uh, the thirty second the th thirty second rotation and and gradually gets the three thousand six hundred seconds uh, used to turn the minute hand wheel here so there are individual composites the first gear the second gear and the third the third finally translate transfers the rotation to the minute hand from here that's how this clock works I started off designing this clock uh, animation uh, about 12 months ago a magic number 12 uh, worked out pretty well I like the way it looks now and it's an easy to use um, Macintosh desktop application uh, actually compiled with Xcode 5 as a pre-release now uh, available for everybody and running on Mac OS X9 uh, also dubbed uh, Maverick so a pretty maverick view. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, visit igrandclock.com, the location where you can download this application.